everyone, welcome back to the next part of the Sonic Collection Tour. In this part we're going to be going over clothes, accessories, blankets, comforters, robes, anything that can be worn or put on. I filled my table up with some stacks and after that I've got plenty more. So let's hop into it. First things first, you can see this robe I'm wearing right here. It's got classic Sonic all over it. I don't actually remember where I got this from, but it fits an adult so it's pretty good. Okay, so first we've got these little cloths that were given to me by someone in Japan. I showed these off in the Japan haul video. It's pretty cool. They're from Sonic Frontiers. Got that one and this one. Now this does technically count as clothing, although it is for the Sonic Build-A-Bear. This was for the Sonic movie. Now this right here is from the Stray Rass collection. This was the bicycle shirt. It has a zipper. It's really uh, kind of tie-dye-y and it's very, very tight fitting. Uh, I would take it out, but it's a huge pain to put back into this bag. So uh, I'll link my Stray Rats video up in the corner right here, and you can go ahead and watch that one. Next up, these are the shirts I got from Japan. The Thunderbox black shirt, the Sonic and Amy shirt, the blue Thunderbox shirt, the Sonic Frontiers shirt. This one actually was from the Cospa store, I think. And then these are shirts from the Puma store. So this was the combo Sonic and Eggman shirt. Pretty cool. This was just the standalone Sonic shirts. This was just the Eggman shirt. You can see him right there. And this is probably one of the cooler shirts. This is the Sonic black shirt. You can see him wearing the Puma shoes right there. Pretty nice. All right, next up, these are shirts that I got from the Yeti. You've seen me wearing them in various videos. They're not licensed, they're made by artists and they submit their designs and you can put them on shirts. So here's a cool one at the beach. Here's Knuckles and Pumpkin Hill. Here's a classic Sonic Knuckles and Tails shirt. Here's a cool looking Sonic Knuckles and Tails shirt. I actually get compliments on this shirt sometimes. This is the What Do You Mean You Don't Like Chili Dogs shirt. This is a Green Hill inspired design. This one's big and froggy, pretty cute. This one's pretty cool, it's kind of an ice level design. It's got a lot of stuff going on in it. This one's a shirt I wear a lot. It has a bunch of different characters on it. So we got Shadow, Charmy up here, SBO, Vector, Omega. It's a pretty cool shirt. This one for the Shadow lovers out there. And this is actually a shirt from Box Lunch. It's Angel Island Marathon, 1991. Interesting shirt here. Now this shirt I actually got from Sears. If you can even find a Sears anymore. Well, I really like it a lot. It's got a bunch of the classic characters on here. This is a Sonic Mania shirt. My best friend and his wife actually gave this to me for Christmas. It's from Box Lunch back when they had it in stock. This shirt right here is actually a Sonic Movie promo shirt. It's not that expensive, you can find them online. This shirt right here is actually a promo for Sonic Forces. I think it came in a loot crate or a loot gaming crate. This is just a generic Sonic shirt from Walmart, I think. The many faces of classic Sonic right here. Pretty cool. This, I believe, is just another shirt from Sears. Sonic Tails, Shadow, and Knuckles. This one's from Target. It's got uh, the little sequence here you can do that. This one my mom actually found. I don't know where she found it, but it's Sonic in gold lettering. Same thing with this one. I'm not sure where she found it, but it's just got modern Sonic all over it. Here are just some classic characters. I think this is also from Target. This shirt right here is the AMC exclusive shirt for the Sonic movie. This one's kind of interesting. It just has a bunch of wire-framed Sonic design. This shirt's also from Target. It's got the same sequence. It changes from Super Sonic down to regular Sonic. This one right here is the Sonic & Knuckles shirt from Hot Topic. My coworker actually gave this to me for Christmas, so it's something I like a lot. This shirt right here is actually from Kohl's. It's actually the first shirt I ever bought on my own. I saw someone wearing it in school and I just thought, wow, I gotta go get it. And then this is just a generic shirt here. I'm not sure where it's from. Next, I have this Tails Polo. This is from the Sega store. Now, I don't buy any clothes or really anything from the Sega store unless it's on sale. So this must have been on sale. Unfortunately, the Sonic one was sold out. Eggman Empire, also from the Sega shop. Now this shirt is from Uniqlo when they did their Sonic promotion, the Pixels collection. So this is the Sonic shirt for adults. This is actually the kids shirt. It's Sonic following some ring. And then from the Sega shop, we have the I Love Froggy shirt. This is the Team Dark shirt from Team Sonic Racing. This is the Sanic shirt, of course. This is the Team Sonic shirt from Team Sonic Racing. Now, this shirt's from Box Lunch. It's Miles Tails Prower, Flight School. I know they have some food ones now, I think. And then this is a Sonic Forces shirt from the Sega store. And then here's a couple of the same shirts. This is a gray shirt uh, for the Sonic movie. 
I found both of these at Walmart actually, and this is the blue one. I do have a couple of costumes. This is a kid's costume of <laughs> Sonic from the Sonic movie. A little funny looking, but it's iconic. And this is what the costume used to look like before the movie came out. Now this I have from Walmart. Uh, I think it's a uh, small size. It's basically just Long John's uh, pajama set right here. Now these are pajama pants. They have modern Sonic across them. This is another pajama set. Now for whatever reason I have a bunch of boxers. So this one I've had for a long time. The classic cotton boxers. This one, I think these are Sonic Forces boxers from the same loot crate as that shirt. Crazy Boxer came out with a lot of different designs, so this is the Popsicle one, you can see that right there. And there are some kids ones, so there's the Tails, Sonic and Knuckles one with the gold rings, got Red Sonic, Blue Sonic, and some classic characters here, and a Sonic right there, and more Sonic right there, and even more, and some more rings, we got Sonic Mania Sonic right there characters and these are from Walmart I only saw these once and I never saw them again it's Sonic and Shadow you can see here and these are from Target these are from Sonic Mania so these are kind of cool now here are the same popsicle Sonic boxers I found them on sale apparently I haven't looked at these in a long time so got more Sonic Mania here and then these are the crazy boxer designs we've got Shadow and Sonic more Shadow and Sonic. I think I found these in different sizes as well. Oh, here's a cool one. We've got Classic Sonic and Knuckles fighting it out. Here we've got Classic Sonic right here. Next up, I do have some ties. So this first tie right here is from Rowing Blazers. You can see the tag right there. It's pretty high quality. It's probably the highest quality tie I have. And the Sonic faces are actually stitched. There you can see right there, the Sonic face is actually stitched into the fabric, so that's pretty cool. And there are a lot of these old style Sonic ties I tried to track some of them down a while ago, but I haven't really done it lately. This particular one is from Mark Jason. And then I have a few of these kids ties right here. We've got Tails and Sonic and Dr. Robotnik right here. We've got Sonic running through some kind of prison. And we've got Sonic doing a few of his classic poses. This tie right here has got classic Sonic and Knuckles. They're just, I don't know, battling it out, I guess. This one right here, I actually have two of these, and I actually wear the second one to work sometimes. It says Sonic looks like in Green Hill Zone. This last one right here is not a licensed product, I don't think, at least my coworker got me this for Christmas. I don't know how she did it or where she got it from, but it's pretty cool. So I do have a few pillows to show off. All three were acquired at Dave & Buster's. This one I got out of the Big Claw Machine, it's pretty cool. It's got one of the IDW arts on it. And if you look at the tag, it's part of the comic book collection here from Toy Factory. Everyone should recognize this one by now. This is the Sonic In Your Face pillow. Uh, I showed off the tie-dye one when I went over the shelves, but this is the original one. Finally, there's the movie Sonic pillow. I tried to win this from the claw machine. I failed and ended up just buying this online. So there are a few shirts that I didn't have on the table because I think it's important that you see the front and the back. So this right here is the always running shirt. This is from the Metal Dash virtual run that they did during the pandemic. It's got Sonic Knuckles and Tails on the front and on the back. It's got the name of the company, Sonic logo, and the year. It's made of like a jersey material, so that's pretty cool. Next is the Gaffer jersey from Selfridges. It's a pretty expensive product, a very limited item as well. I tried to frame this once, but the frame fell off my wall and shattered, so now I just keep it hung up. This shirt is nothing special, it's just a tie-dye shirt with Modern Sonic on it. I'm pretty sure I got this at Kmart or something but it's got Sonic on both sides, so I thought I should show them off. Next, I've got a couple of Puma shirts. This shirt here has Shadow and Knuckles on it, which I thought was an interesting pairing. On the back, it's got both of them, and it says, You're Too Slow, which is interesting because I don't think either of them ever say that. And also, we have the Sonic and Super Sonic version of the same shirt. It's white this time instead of black. This zip-up jacket was given to me by friends back in college. It's got Sonic and Tails on the front. I don't remember where they got it. It might have been Hot Topic. Now, I do have some kids' clothes here. Uh, I'm not sure why I have them, but I have them. So, you might remember this one. I think I tried to put this on at the end of one of the videos. It's a onesie with a Sonic hood. These are Sonic swim trunks, which I've obviously never worn. This is another pajama set. It's got a shirt as well as pants, which you can see here. This is just a shirt and pants set. This right here is just a standalone shirt. 
these two are both pajama sets. They've just got Modern Sonic on them as well as the accompanying pants or shorts. And finally there is a sweatshirt and sweatpants combo. Next I have some blankets and comforters and throws. So let's do it. First from Walmart we have this body pillow cover. I showed a few of these off recently along with this reversible pillowcase as well as these window panels. Recently I got this beach towel. It's got Sonic Tails and Knuckles on it. Some time ago in Walmart they had these full sheet sets as well as the twin sheet sets. I think they still have them actually. Now this is a plush blanket that I think came with a actual Sonic plush. I think I got this at Spencer's a long, long time ago. These are a couple more recently released plush throws. They're modern Sonic Knuckles and Tails. This one's pretty recent as well. It's a Sonic blanket, but it is also a plush throw. And yet another plush blanket. It says, I've got a thing for rings. As I was setting up this video, I just realized that I have two of these. So I wasn't aware of that, but this is another plush throw. It's got classic Sonic doing his I'm waiting pose. And I've got another fleece throw. Sonic's doing his I'm waiting pose in Green Hill Zone, but we get a little bit more scenery in this one. This one's a classic. It's the fleece throw with Sonic doing his winking face. And this is the silky soft throw, which is soft and cuddly. It's got modern Sonic running. Then I have a couple of great Eastern ones. This is all of the little chibi characters on a plush. And don't worry, I didn't actually pay $34.99 for this or the next one. This one has all of the classic characters on it. And this one is Shadow on a throw blanket. And right here I have a microfiber twin comforter. It's got Sonic Knuckles and Tails and it looks like it's got a couple of pillow covers there. But I don't think they come with this. And my other comforter is a two piece comforter set. It actually comes with a pillow sham down here as well as a reversible comforter. So it's got Sonic Knuckles and Tails on the front and then it reverses into this kind of more sleek design. This is a more recent acquisition. This is an area rug. It measures 40 inches by 54 inches. So it's fairly large. Uh, I haven't opened it yet because my apartment's fully carpeted, so I have no reason to open it, but it's a pretty cool item. I have this laptop sleeve from Spencer's. I don't have a laptop anymore, but I think it's cool that there is a Sonic sleeve at least. This is a tote bag. You'll be seeing more tote bags when we go over the hats here in a moment. This has a bunch of the Puyo Puyos on it, so they actually make up the design of the characters. Got this in Japan. When Puma had their Sonic line, I tried to get as much as I could. This is the drawstring bag. I actually took this to Japan. And then also I have the Amy one as well. A company called Sprayground came out with Sonic-themed backpacks. This one's probably my favorite. It's Sonic in Green Hill Zone. It's really, really high detail. It's even got rings for zippers. There's a laptop sleeve inside. Even the straps have artwork on them. It's a pretty cool backpack. Sprayground had another design. It's the shark tooth version. It says game over at the top and it's got an annoyed Sonic here at the bottom. I kept this in the original pack. And also we do have the Stray Rats leather jacket. The most expensive item from that collection I think. I keep it in this packaging because I don't really wear jackets. I live in Florida. It's pretty hot here. But the Sonic is stitched. There is a lot of wording here on the bottom. Never look back. So I'm back up front to show off a few cooler items. This is a scrub top. It's got Sonic and Tails doing various medical related things like brushing teeth, checking heart rate, uh, heartbeat, checking for vision, x-rays, things like that. It's a pretty cool item. The rest of these items are from the Stray Rats collection. So I've got two of the same Chow shirt here. This is the dark blue one and the purple one. It shows the Chow and the egg. And then on the back it shows the different type of chow. It's a pretty nice shirt. This is a long sleeve shirt. It's got modern Sonic on the front and on the back it's got Dr. Eggman there with an arrow pointing down to a laughing Sonic. Now right here we've got Metal Sonic. I got him in all three colors, black, white, and purple. Uh, there's nothing on the back. It's just Metal Sonic looking cool. This right here is the Knuckles shirt. I wasn't able to get it in white or I don't remember what the other color was but I got it in dark blue so not too bad and it's got a little blurb up there about him living on the floating island and on the sleeve it's got Knuckles the Echidna 1998 and of course we do have the Rat Girl hoodie it's got rouge on the front I got the green version I wanted the other color but I wasn't fast enough and it's got Rat Girl written in pink and it's got some checkers on the sides and the hood. I do have a couple other tote bags and miscellaneous items to show off so right here is the tote bag from Rowing Blazers. It was heavily, heavily discounted to like $6, I think. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's quite large, actually. This one right here is from BioWorld. It's got classic Sonic on the front. 
has the old tag, so I think it's from a long time ago. I'm not actually sure where it's from. This is the high ground jelly bag. Uh, the little foil thing inside is actually a strap that hooks onto this. It's got neutral chow, kind of miserable chow, and happy chow in the front. It's kind of... the texture is a little weird. Right here are headwear that came out during the pandemic. There's Classic Sonic right there and Modern Sonic. And finally the umbrella which I showed off during the Japan haul video. This was from H&M in Japan. Alright, moving on to the hats. I have aligned all of them up here on the table. Let's go through them real quick. We've got Classic Sonic running. Got Sonic on a denim style hat. This one's from Spencer's. I like it because of Sonic's design on the front. This one is from Stray Rats. It's got all kinds of embroidered enemies. I like Orbanot out here. And we've got the logo right here. We've got Chopper, another Orbanot, and I think it says Stray Rats. Yep. Oh, and it's got Buzz Bomber too. Underneath we have the Sonic bicycle helmet. It's pretty cool. It's got modern Sonic on the side. They had these in Walmart for a time, but I don't know if they have them anymore. Here we've got Sonic spin dashing. We've got Sonic in a ball. This they had at uh, Target for a while. It's just a little winter beanie. I really like this hat a lot. It's very classic. It's got the classic logo. It's got the checkers, Green Hill. It's got everything. This one I also really like a lot. It's got all the classic characters on it. It's got Sonic, Tails, some rings. It's got Knuckles, Dr. Robotnik, and all of these guys are embroidered. You can see that on here. I think I got this at FYE for a, little, a few bucks. It was in a clearance bin. This one I got from Spencer's as well. It's kind of a more modern design of Classic Sonic. I don't think it says anything anywhere. It's just got modern Sonic running. Got another Classic Sonic here. I really like this hat because of the bill, actually. It's really reminiscent of Sonic 1's special stage. Got another Sonic Classic beanie here. Another modern one. Another Classic one. This one's really old. I don't know when this is from. 1994, according to the tag. Here's another one from BioWorld. These are the Puma hats. I only have the Amy and uh, this little fisherman's hat here. I'm not sure why I didn't get the Sonic one. And here's a classic Sonic running. Got Sonic inside of his own logo. Speed King. And the Sonic movie promo hat. Next I've got some fuzzy slippers. We have the fuzzy Baba slipper socks. They came in a few different designs. I've got some of them here. This is Classic Sonic smiling. This is Classic Sonic doing smiling and a surprised face. And then these are the little classic characters, Sonic Knuckles and Tails. And then of course I have the Game Over gloves, which I think were promotion in one of the loot crates. And just a few more odds and ends here. I've got this Sonic belt that I've had for a really long time actually, but it's too big for me to wear. On the back you can see it's from the 20th anniversary and it's made by BioWorld. It's a size 40 which is about 10 sizes bigger than me. And then down here I've got a Sonic Mania Adventures tote. It's got Metal Sonic and Robotnik on it. They made this when they made those uh, little short animations. And then over here I've got the high ground shirt. They got it in orange. It's got neutral chow, frustrated chow, and happy chow. Okay and the last stop on our tour today is the footwear. I've got several pairs of shoes and several pairs of flip-flops. First I have these pair of Sonic flip-flops that I showed off recently in a collection video. Uh, they're just classic Sonic. They've got kind of padding right here with the classic logo. I like them a lot actually. When the Puma and Sonic collection came out I actually grabbed a Sonic pair and an Amy pair. I actually don't know which one is which. I use these boxes to prop up the larger Sonic uh, plushes. So we're going to find out which one is which right now. Alright, so these are the Amy ones. So, you can see them here. They're pretty cute. They're pink and they've got Amy's silhouette and the Puma logo. And the bigger box now probably has Sonic inside. As you can tell I don't wear these. Okay, we do have a Sonic and actually the padding under the footwell here is really really plush. Really nice. 
we've got Sonic and Puma logo. And I'll add also that the paper has the Sonic and Puma logo on it. Now Puma and Sonic came out with several pairs of shoes. I don't know which one is in which box. I'm pretty sure the Eggman shoes are in here. Unfortunately, I don't have the original Sonic ones they came out with. So let's see which one is in here. Oh. So these are the black ones. I don't remember what they call these. The So these are the RSX shoes. These are the black ones. So they just have Sonic's Lives, Rings 50, the Sonic motif on the back with gold rings. Uh, on the inside, there's a checkerboard pattern on the sole with the Sonic and Puma logo. And it's just black on the other side. And the other shoe is the same way, it's just mirrored. All right, let's move on to the other Puma box here. So these are probably the blue and gold ones. Yeah, these are the cool looking ones. So these are also called RSX, but they're in a different colorway. They've got white, yellow, and blue, and red, of course. So tribute to Sonic Knuckles and Tails with white and gold accents as well. Uh, same kind of sole, minus the checkerboard pattern. It's just got the Sonic and Puma logo. It has score, time, and rings, paying homage to the Sonic video games. It's got the same kind of Sonic motif with the three rings, but it has a gold accent back here. So this cool looking box right here is actually one of the original pairs of shoes that Puma put out for the Sonic collection. I love that they got the classic Robotnik up here. I unfortunately was not able to get the Sonic one. That one sold out actually before the drop was even supposed to happen. But I was able to get the amazing looking Eggman shoes. They're bright red. They've got this kind of hazard kind of style going on here. Fully blue sole. And you can see it says Sonic the Hedgehog underneath the rubber. Super, super cool shoe. It's got Robotnik's face when fireballs shooting out. It's got this kind of, you know, industrial type pattern back here. On the bottom, you can kind of see it, not really. There you go. It's got the same kind of hazard with gold and black with the Robotnik logo with the Puma logo. On the front here, you can see how glossy it is. It's really, really glossy. Like, it's such a cool shoe, I could never bring myself to wear it outside. Next is a pair from Aikido. Aikido makes high top shoes. Uh, they have done stuff for Pokemon before. And when they came out with the Sonic one, I knew I had to get one. This one actually has a magnetic lid, so very fancy. And the box is actually quite interesting as well. It's a piece of art. Everything you see is part of me, Kato. And it even has kind of like a hole shaped logo here. So then if you turn this around, you can actually open this up to reveal the shoes inside. So here's the shoe. It's cloth with a strong rubber sole. It says Kato on the bottom. And it's got modern Sonic on the side. This was done for the 30th anniversary. So that's the occasion that they did this for. Unstoppable for generations, which is what their slogan was during that time. So yeah, both shoes are pretty remarkable. Again, the quality is so high, I can never bring myself to wear these outside. And finally, the pair of shoes that's most likely to make you upset while watching this video, the Fila Sonic 2 movie shoes. These were extremely hard to get. I got them on the second drop, not the first drop. The first drop was impossible. The second drop I was able to get a size eight and a half men's and women's 10. So whatever that means. Anyway, the box is pretty cool. It's got the Fila logo, Movie Sonic, Sonic Movie 2, see the movie. And if we raise the top, it's got just a Fila logo paper and the amazing article itself. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a buckle on it, but that's all right. So red on top. Of course, white with the stripe, white on the bottom. On the inside, you can see it's got the Sonic Movie 2 logo and the Fila logo. So, pretty hard to get your hands on unless you're willing to pay scalper price for it online. All right, so that's gonna do it for this part. I hope you enjoyed all of the various clothes and accessories and of course the shoes. Stay tuned for the next part. I'm gonna go over the different comics books, and collectible cards I've got. Let me know in the comments below which item was your favorite today. I hope you're all enjoying the tour so far. There's definitely a lot of stuff to go through. Stay tuned for the next part, and I'll see you in the next one.